Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Blair. Welcome to my beauty space. So today I want to share with you guys what I got from the Carlsbad outlet. So yeah, I did some damage there and if you want to know what I got, just please keep watching. All right, so the first shop that I always shop at is Ralph Lauren. The shop at the outlet is so big. It has a lot of the items, a lot of the selections, and they're all in season. It's not like you only buy winter clothes in May. It's actually spring, summer clothes. So I pick out a pair of denim and I love it so much. So here is the pair right here. It's a white denim, but it has the red straps on the side. I really love it. As soon as I saw this one on the model, I'm like, I am sold. White denim is super versatile. It can match with everything, with a simple t-shirt, with a simple crop top or anything. It'll look so good. And I feel like the right stripe make it really like royal feeling. So, but yeah, I love these jeans. And also the material is so good. It's a really quality material. It just feels really soft and it's super stretchy. So you don't have to worry about like jeans being too tight or suffocate you because that's not the case at all. So yeah, this is a pair of jeans I got from Ralph Lauren and I love it so much. All right, moving on, the next store that I went to is Adidas because, you know, you just have to go check it out, right? Because they always have pretty good sales going on. Well, I was at Adidas, I managed to find a pair of sandals I really like. So here are the sandals. Look how cute they are. They're just like the perfect summer sandal because it has like the glitter and it's a very lightly sheen pink. I just really love the color. I feel like this is just really, really beautiful and super comfy. And this is only 20 bucks, like 20 bucks. How can you like say no to this? So yeah, I got this pair of Adidas sandals. Moving on, the next shop I went is Kate Spade, New York. Let me tell you, that shop was bumping the day I went there. I don't know what's going on. They might have a crazy sale. I really don't know. But all I know is that I found a bunch of items I really, really love. So let me show you guys right now. So the first item I got is this t-shirt right here. I love this t-shirt. Look how cute is this t-shirt. It's the pineapple t-shirt and this one is $39. I think they're originally like 50 or maybe 60. So I think it's a pretty good deal. They also have another one, it's like a flamingo, but I love the pineapple better. So that's why I got this one. I just love like simple basic shirt in the summertime. I feel like it's just super easy. You just throw it down and go about your day. I just, you know, you don't need to think so much about your outfit. That's what I love the most about t-shirts. And also this t-shirt feels just so high quality and I love that even like the logo here is like gold color and everything. So it's just super cute. And I got an extra small. So let me tell you, look how big this is. Literally this is extra small. This probably would be a medium in a lot of other brands, but in case Spain, New York, this is literally an extra small. So if you're also interested in this t-shirt, I definitely recommend you guys go size down because it's really big. This is extra small, just look at it. But yeah, I love this t-shirt. It actually kind of makes me feel good that I'm finally an extra small again. So yeah, that's the first item I got. All right, moving on, the second item I got is a phone case. So this is a case based New York phone case for iPhone X, S, and X. When I saw this one, I just like, this is mine. And this one was retail for $45, but I bought it for $20, which I think is such a good deal. I just love those kind of, you know, kind of galaxy kind of look. And my phone case right now is from the Carly Babel collaboration with Huawei Carrier. I really love this phone case and I really love her Galaxy one as well. I almost got that one as well, but then I'm like, maybe you should chill a little bit. Don't spend too much money. So when I saw this one, I'm like, I just have to get it because I really love this kind of Galaxy, kind of like really fancy, whimsical kind of look phone case. And this is so much cheaper. This is like 20 bucks. So yeah, that's why I got it. And I cannot wait to rock this one. Then moving on, the next item I got is actually a bracelet. So it's packaged in here. Too bad that it didn't give me like a cake spade box, but you know what, I don't really care. So let me show you guys the bracelet. And here is a bracelet looks like. Look how cute is this. I love it because it's all white. They also have like all gold, but once I tried it on, I felt like I love this one better. And this one was originally for $58, but I think I got it for 30 bucks. So I think it's really, really good. 
and I almost also got the necklace, which is like ice cream. It's so cute. But you know what? I was like, maybe I should just rest a little bit. I bet a lot of stuff. So let me try on this bracelet for you guys. You just open really easily like this. And then once you put it on, it's like this. Right? It's really cute. I haven't wear a bracelet like this in a long time. I have an Hermes one maybe like five years ago. And I love that one. It's like an orange one, but that one is so expensive. I always want to get a white one to match it. But then I just feel like I couldn't justify spend that much money. So I never got that one. But then when I saw this one, I'm like, this is perfect because who could see the logo? You know what I'm saying? Like with Hermes, it's just like an H there. So it's not like the logo is so obvious. So I love this one. I feel like this one is really cute and also so much cheaper. It's such like a great alternative to the Hermes like H bracelet. So yeah, that's the third item I got. All right, moving on. The next item I got from Kate Spade is a pair of sandals. So yeah, till this point, you might be like, Blair, really? Another pair of sandals? But because I live in Southern California, I can wear sandals nine months out of the whole year. So basically, sandal is just part of the living in Southern California. So yeah, that's why I got another pair. And here is what it looks like. Look how cute is this pair. It's a little bit different. This, like, obviously it's not like the whole, like, I don't even know the style, but you know the difference, right? Like this one, you basically have to like slide your toe in like this. I love this one because A, it's all pink and it's very like pink stripes. I, I just love that. And B, I love the whole heart right here. Like so cute. Like the little details, it's just so cute. Yeah, so I got this pair and it says, hey, sunshine. So yeah, hey, sunshine to you guys. I love this pair. All right, lastly, how can I not buy a purse from K Spade when I'm visiting their outlet store? So I found a purse that I am obsessed, like obsessed. So let me share with you guys. And ta-da, this is a purse right here. Look how cute is this purse, right? This was originally for 50 and I got it for like 160. So it's like more than 60% off, which is awesome. And look how beautiful is this color. I know you're probably gonna be like, why are you buying all white? But to me, I like to rotate my purse. So when I saw this one, I'm like, this is great because I just love a good purse and look how much room it has inside. Literally, I love this kind of like open design so, so that whenever I want to stuff all the items in the purse, it's not like super hard. It's just like you can just throw everything in. So it's like a pretty good size. And also you have this pretty nice stripe right here. You can just wear like this. And lastly, I love white because I feel like white matches all kinds of like different outfits. Actually, at first I saw this style in like the denim color. It's like the whole denim material. I almost got that one, but then I'm like, I feel like I have like blue color, denim, all that kind of stuff. Kind of want a white. I know it's hard to deal with, but you know what? That's why I bought a leather cleaner right here. So this one retail for $10 and it cleans the leather. So this is a leather cleaner right here. So I feel like it won't be so bad if I have this on hand. And on top of that, I don't really go to places that are like super like dirty or stuff like that. So I think this should be like stay away for a while. And also I like to rotate my purse. Like if I go to, you know, a meeting or something, I always grab my Chanel. Then I have like a blue Gucci, like I just rotate them. So I feel like this can be in a good mix. I just love it so much. And also, if you guys want to see like a what's in my purse video, definitely leave me a comment down below. I can totally do that for you guys. So yeah, this is the last item I got from Kate Spade and I am obsessed. All right, so that's all the fashion items I got from the outlet. And let's move on to the makeup part. So the first makeup store I went to is this luxury beauty store. So here are all the brands that are sold in the store. And I love the store so much. I love the selection and everything. But to be honest, I don't like the salesperson there. When I was there, I was the only customer. But the girl and the guy just treated me like nothing. Like as soon as I walk into the store, especially the girl, she just ran to the back, starting to do her own makeup. There is no hello. There's no welcome. There's no like, do you need any help? Nothing. Like I just felt like 
the tension is really high, like for no reason. And throughout the whole entire time, I was just, you know, browsing by myself, which is really awkward because, you know, I feel like they're just there and just don't engage with me at all and there's no one else. And then finally I decided on the item and I really couldn't just, you know, find it because I think they put it in the back. So I had to ask one of them for help and then I was asking them to grab me the lipstick. So the girl just stood up and ran to the back, grab it and just pass through on like the table, the checkout counter. I, I just feel really like being mistreated the entire time. It wasn't pleasant at all. Had it not because the goodies are good, I would just left because I don't like to be treated that way when I'm actually spending the money. But anyway, let's move on to the goodies I got. So the first item I got is also the reason why I actually went to the store because I really want to grab this Lancome toner. So this one, if you buy at a retail price, it's 30 bucks, but I got it for 25.50. So it's only like less than $5 off, but you know what? If you can save $5, that's still $5 saved, you know? So I don't think the deal is that great, but you know what? It's not bad. Like, I still love it. I still think this is a good toner. All right, moving on, the second item I got is this Lancome Macaroon Blush. So this is what it looks like. It's called the Macaroon Blush and a Blender. And I am in the shade number two, Coral Whipped Cream Blush. Look how cute is this. This one was retail for $40 and I got it for $30. So this is a better deal because it's more than 20% off. And this one, I love it so much. I literally saw this one on Nordstrom.com and I almost got it, but then I was like $40, it's a lot of money. So when I saw this one on sale for $30, I feel much better. So here you will have a blender that looks like a macaroon, which is so cute. And then this is the blush right here. Look how cute is the logo. And you just twist it up and here is a blush. Wow, I love this color. So let me swatch it. Ooh, it's super soft and also super pigmented. Look at the color, right? I love this color. So yeah, this is the Lancome Blush and a Blender Duo and I love this one so much. All right, moving on. Lastly, I got a lipstick. This is the infamous lipstick that the sales associate smashed on the counter. So this is also from Lancome. This is the Absolute Rouge Gold Wonders lipstick, and I'm in the shade 264. So here is the shade right here. I love this shade. As soon as I saw this one on like a tester, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. So here, this is the whole packaging. This packaging is very similar to the New Year's 2019 packaging, and I love it. So you open it by press it down, and bah, here is the product. And this is the color. Look how beautiful is this color. I don't even want to swatch it because this is just so beautiful. I just love a rosy tone color like this. I love it a little bit darker because sometimes a rosy new tone can be a little bit too light, which I don't really love. So when I saw this one, I'm like, yes, I love this one. All right, so that's all the items I got from the luxury beauty store. And moving on, the next makeup store I went to is the Bear and Beauty store. I love that store. Let me tell you, the sales associates there are so nice to me. They're so attentive, help me color match, all that kind of stuff. So I bought a bunch of items from there. So let's get started. The first item I got is actually a shower bath. So this is the Laura Mercier Body and Bath. And this is the Vanilla Honey Bath. And this is what it looks like. I have used this one in the past and I love it so much. But one pet peeve of this one is that it's really expensive. So when I saw this one in like an outlet store, I'm like, yes, I have to have it. So once you open it up inside, first it has this honeycomb right here. Look how cute this is. You use this one to dig out the product. And here is a product right here. So this one is the Amber Vanilla Honey Bath. And I think this is a new scent because my old one is just honey vanilla. So I'm down to try a new flavor, especially with this cone. I just think this is so cute. So I cannot wait to use this one in my bubble bath. And moving on, the next two items I got are two cotton pads by Shiseido. So here are the two cotton pads. And this one is literally $3, which is so bomb because I love to use their big one from Sephora, but that one was like $15, so it's really expensive. I know these are smaller, but usually these are retail for $5. So I got it for $3. That's why I got two because 
this is really one of the best cotton pads in the game if you really want a good solid cotton pad and also it's not scratching to your face and also it's not too thin but it's not like too thick and it's really soft this is the best in the game that's why i got two and i cannot wait to use this Moving on, the next item I got is also from Laura Mercier. So this is a Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under eyes. And this is the packaging looks like. So this one was retail for $28, but I got it for $20, which is a really good deal. And to be completely honest, I've never tried their Secret Brightening Powder because I always get the translucent powder. So when I saw this one on sale, I'm like, why not? And I am in the shade number one. So I just really want to test it out because I also have the Becca under eye powder and then I also have uh, like the Kylie powder, the Kim powder. So I just really want to test it out because, you know, why not? And this is on sale, so that's why I got this one. All right, moving on. I got a bunch of NARS products, which are really awesome. I love the fact that they carry NARS because I love NARS. A lot of times I feel like NARS are really pricey. So whenever I can get a sale, I would always get something. So the first item I got from NARS is actually this Kabuki brush. And this is a packaging looks like with the red bottom, which is super luxurious, high end. This one was retail for $42, but I got it for $26 which is a much better price for the brush in my opinion. So let me show you guys. And ta-da, here is the brush. It actually comes with this plastic protector. So I'm probably gonna keep it so that like my brush is in shape. And I just love this brush. It's super soft and the handle feels really nicely made. It's a really high-end brush. Like I understand why it's $42 because it's really, really nicely made. It just feels so soft. You can feel like the hair is super premium, high quality hair. It feels so, so nice. So yeah, I got this brush and I love it. All right, moving on. I got three blushes from NARS because I'm just like a crazy NARS blush person. They have the best blushes in the game. So the first one I got is called New Attitude. It just comes with the standard NARS packaging. And this one was retail for $30 a piece, but I got it for $20, which is really nice. So let me open it up for you guys. This is what it looks like. It's just super pretty. And this is called New Attitude. So here, this is a color right here. It's like a baby kind of Barbie pink color. I love this color. It's so beautiful. I love a nice like Barbie pink color. So yeah, this is new attitude. All right, moving on. The second NARS blush I got is called Final Cut. It's the same standard NARS packaging. And here, this is a color. Look how beautiful is this color. I love this color because I feel like this is super versatile in terms of like everyday wear and it matches my nails pretty nicely. So I love that. And also I love the fact that it's a little bit like peachy but very light peach so that when you put like on top of your cheeks it won't be like so so obvious so if you want to do like a very simple look I think this will be your best friend because this is just really really beautiful color so yeah this is in the shade final cut all right so the last NARS blush I got is in the shade called love so here is the shade right here how beautiful is this shade right it is super beautiful i just love love this color it matches my nail a little bit and i feel like this is not like a bright or even like a little bit vibrant peachy it's kind of a little bit like dusty mauve color so it's a very romantic color that's why it's called love i just really love this shade so yeah this is love by nars all right moving on i also picked up a dual eyeshadow from NARS because I just love NARS quality eyeshadow and this one is retail for $36 so this is the packaging it's very similar to the blush packaging so I got this eyeshadow in the shade Kwai and this is the packaging looks like once you open it up here is the protector and tada those are the two shades I just love a unique color. I feel like if you want to buy some unique color and you want a great pigmentation, NARS is the way to go because they're just super, super nice. And just look at the shade right here, right? So let me swatch it for you guys. This is the first shade. Wow, look how beautiful that shade is. 
look. And then we also have this purple color right here. Isn't that so, so beautiful? Oh my goodness, right? This is just so beautiful. Like literally, how can you go wrong with these colors? Right? Like it's just super unique and how pigmented that is. I feel like you can even wear this alone because the color pigmentation is just so strong. So yeah, I got this NARS Shadow Duo in the shade Cry. All right, that's all the NARS stuff I got. And I'm moving on, I also got a lip product from Buxom. So this is the Buxom Lightweight Liquid Lipstick. And I literally got this one, this is the last one. So this is in the shade Centerfold. And it is a wildly whipped liquid lipstick. So here is the shade. First of all, I love the packaging like this. And on the side, it even claims to be an addictive whipped texture, seductive lip plumper. So, so this one will plump your lips. And this one was retail for $16, but I got it for 10 bucks. And I literally got the last one. And the sales associate was like, if you wanna get it, get it now, there's nothing in the back. So of course I had to get it. And here is the product looks like. I love this packaging. Whenever they have like a black ombre packaging like this, it just automatically feels really luxurious. And on top of that, I love Buxom. They have really great formula. So let's just swatch it. Here, this is the applicator looks like. It's a long applicator. And let me swatch it right here. Wow, look at the color, right? I love this color. This color is so, so beautiful. It's just like a really creamy kind of whipped texture, which I love. Like look at the color right here, right? Like how beautiful is this? Literally, it's amazing. And also the fact that one swipe is this pigmented. This is just really great. Like I have a good feeling just by swatching it. Like this one will be beautiful on your lips, gives you beautiful pigmentation, but it won't be dry or anything because of the whip texture. So yeah, I love the Buxom lipstick right here. All right, moving on. The last item I got from Bear and Beauty is also the most expensive item I got from there. So this one is the Clay Depot Beauty Silky Cream Foundation. And this is a baby right here. So this one was retail for $120 but I got it for $70. Even though it's still really pricey for a foundation, but it's way better than 120. And I'm really happy that I even got this one on sale because I've been eyeing to try this one forever, but I just couldn't pull the plug because I feel like 120 is just way too much. Like for me, under $90 is kind of like my limit for a foundation. But when I saw this one on sale, I'm like, yes, this is the time. And I'm glad that they actually have the shade that's my shade. So I got this in the shade O20. So I'm pretty sure O stands for olive undertone, but because it's 20, so it's like a lighter color, that's why I can still use it. So let me show you guys what's inside. So this is a baby inside. And look how small this one is. It's literally like a tiny tube. That's why I feel like the price is insane. But I do love like the quality because as you can see, it's super luxurious and everything. I just love it. And because this one has a lot of good like skincare ingredients, that's also the reason why it makes it so expensive. So I have no complaint about it. And also this one has brow spectrum SPF 23 sunscreen inside. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do maybe like a test style foundation review. Maybe this can be my first foundation review because I haven't done like a foundation review series on my channel. So maybe I should start with like a band. So yeah, I'm not going to swatch it right here, but definitely stay tuned for the foundation review because I'm totally going to review this beauty right here. Since I spent so much money, they actually gave me a freebie. So I got this Bare Minerals Invisible Bronzer. It's a powder bronzer for free. And I don't know what does invisible mean, but the sales associate, she told me that it means that it's just really like subtle. You might not see it, but once like the light hits, it actually can see it. So I don't really know, but in the back, it says that this one is a silky ultra fine baked bronzer that captures the natural warmth of a healthy looking sun kiss glow in the perfect shade for your skin tone. Oh, so this one is actually color adjusting. It's like a lipstick, like, which will adjust to like your natural lip color. This one will adjust your natural skin color. So that's what it means by invisible. 
So this actually said it's tan. I don't know if that's the color tan, but this is the back. So this is the front. I love the packaging. And once you open it up, here is a bronzer right here. So obviously it still has a color because it's still a bronzer. But I guess this color will show up differently for different people. So let me swatch it right here. Ooh, I love it. This just looks really nice. Like seriously. This looks so nice. So yeah, I love this. And also it feels really subtle. But you know what? I do notice there are some shimmer to it. Even like on the pen, if you can see there are shimmers there. So I'm not sure if that's good because I like a matte bronzer. But you know what? I'm going to try and see if that is good. So here is a color right here. I love the color. I think the color is beautiful. So yeah, that's the last item I got from Bear and Beauty. So yeah, I actually still have one more store to go. I still got some goodies from the cosmetic store. But you know what? I don't want this video to be too long. So I kind of want to stop right here. But if you guys want to see a part two, definitely subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification so that you won't miss part two. So yeah, that's it. That's today's video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.